So hello and welcome to another unboxing and tutorial here at Die Grüne Horde. Um, my Scooch received some air support and the, the Corsair fighters and also my UCM will get some. I like aerial games like Aeronautica Imperialis and others. I play modern air with um, rules for 1 to 285 scale aircraft and therefore I had to get aerial troops. What is in the box? Bases. I will cut down one of the flight packs and then two models and two of the widgets. Nice. Yeah, models. A thin, sleek fighter plane. Here it is. Bigger view on it. Nice details on the lower side. I don't see any real problems. This one slightly. Yeah. Not flat here, there was some excess silicone on this. Um, yeah, but easy to clean up. Yeah, here are some lines, you need to put some work in. And then we have four wings, basically. Yeah, first thing to do is clean up with a hobby knife and file those thin, small lines. And then you yep. same on the other side here at the wing is the biggest part of it and here that's basically it for this one and then you need to cut off the wings, one left wing, one right wing, and also clean those. They look good. Just check how they fit in there. Yeah, one thing I don't like is that the connection point, the support, is on the top. I would prefer a straight line, that would make it easier to mount. Basically, okay, you can basically they stick there just by squeezing them there. I will, of course, glue them, but they put in nice plates. So, next step is the primer. I'm using USN uh, Light Ghost Gray, so US Navy Light Ghost Gray from Vallejo, the surface primer in this case. It's the color is close to the resin, so I don't really see which parts are already reached. Slight disadvantage, but that's it. Okay, next color will be black as base for my color sheet. So the next Step, the first color is black. I'm again using Vallejo Model Air and I'll spray them completely in black. Oh. And that's how they look like after spraying the first color. Basically, a black piece of resin. <clears throat> okay, let them dry again, and then we go for the special color sheen that you've seen on the front pick. 
So the next step in our planes is to give them a, some sparkling. I'm using aluminium from Valachio of course and I just dot them there. It's kind of get as much color as if you would be dry brushing and dot dots all over the plane. There are some direction in some of the lines here. Your decision. I wouldn't give it an overall direction. And then I sparkle the full plane with silver. And that's how it looks at this moment. Same for the underside. It's not exactly what is on the front pick of this video at this moment, but we'll get to that. It is the same model. Kind of decided to go for an ace sheen. So these are my fighter aces with their special sheens. Both ships slightly different, different color for the finish. So second step here is now white and gold. I'll do this in one go. Prepare both. Again colors from Vallejo. I'll do dots in white. All over the model. And dots in gold. So, miss the gold basically. Okay, so do the same procedure again. Doesn't matter if you place dots above each other, due to the different kind of brightness, the final color will look slightly different on every dot. Okay. So I'll show you the trick just once. Now I have a red here from Vallejo, of course, and I give it just a very thin coating. This is more here than anything else. problem. Okay, so that's how it looks like after spraying it. Slightly too much red on this side, more than on this side, not 100% equal. Um, I still think it still looks great. I might redo that side. This the bottom surface even looks better. I'll do the second one in blue and then I do the yeah, details on both ships together, pick out the cockpit, um, that will all be done by brush. <coughs> so the Archangels are in the painting phase and I go for a metal color first. I want to add it here on this wing, inside wing tips. I want to add them at the air inlets. Want to have them in metal. The color is gone metal grey from Vallejo. Other side, air and lead. I'll also go for these fine lines on the thrusters. And try not just to hit the fine lines. They're also there on the underside. So I'll also do that on the underside of the model. And here I add some more metal by yeah, picking out one or two details. And I also pick out these you know, air exhausts in the front or whatever it is. 
take them out in metal. I don't want to do too much on this model since I want to keep the color sheet as main focus. That's all for the metal part. So next is the cockpit. I normally prefer blue cockpits, but the second plane is blue. So I go for yellow cockpits today. And I add a layer of yellow first. Covering the full cockpit. No, I think I need to do two layers until this is done. So I let this give this some time to dry and then come back. So the yellow has dried, and I'll add another shape layer of yellow. This is lemon yellow from Vallejo. Um, more on the sides. And then I focus on one side, I don't make it completely um, balanced. And then I go for an even lighter color. I go for Hexos Pale Sun. And add it in the middle, slightly to one side. And then a layer of white. And again, focusing on one side. Okay, that's it. So that's how they look right now. And then I'll show you the engine. So let's go for the thrusters, engines. And I'll use a green and just put goblin green or intermediate green into this recess here. In the small line. Then we go for scorpion green. To put half the length. Next color is lime green from Vallejo. And again a shorter part. So I could get lime green and white. Just Two millimeters of white max in the center. Okay, done. Final model. I just need to clean up my table here. Close all my colors. And then we can yeah, work on getting out those sticks, my pins. And now we can put them on a flight pack. It still works here, just place them on a flight pad, but of course I'll add the widgets to make it more stable. So here are the finished models, two archangels painted completely with this yeah, marble sheen. I like the sheen, it was fun to paint it. I didn't do much else on these guys since I wanted to have the marble sheen in the front for the effect and not any details picking out and drawing tension from the sheen. Hope you enjoyed. We will use them in a better report soon. Bye bye.